Syngenta, we aim to bring plant potential to life. One of the ways we do, we do this is through one of our products called Panoxidin. This is a product which farmers use to control grass weeds in their wheat and barley crops. The two ethyl groups on the phenol ring are very important for the herbicidal activity. The hydrazine portion, the two nitrogen atoms, is important for crop tolerance. The final compound, panoxidin, is a procide. This means that the presence of the ester group increases leaf penetration to get the compound into the plant. The ester group is then cleaved in the plant to an acidic dicarbonyl compound. Pinoxidin is manufactured at Syngenta plants in Grangemouth in Scotland and in Louisiana in the USA. The route uses five chemical steps and produces over 25 tonnes of pinoxidin each week. Pinoxidin is sold as a liquid which farmers dilute with water and then spray on the field. The benefit to farmers is that they have fields of healthy wheat and barley without the pressure imposed from grass weeds which compete for nutrients and light. It's estimated that without crop protection products, 40% of yields would be lost. Initially, when we're developing roots to new molecules, it can take weeks or even months to make a single compound because we're developing the new methods that we need. Once these have been established, we can use automation and robotics like we're seeing here to make hundreds of compounds in a matter of days. We test the effectiveness of our compounds by testing them here in the glasshouse. We look at the effect that they have on plants. We're looking at both weeds and crops. To start with, we look at very small plants, and then gradually, if a compound is looking promising, we progress through to looking at bigger plants, such as these, and ultimately, we'll take the compound and test it in the field. Once we have identified a new molecule that could potentially be a new product, we need to design a cost-efficient synthesis of this molecule. This will mean that the product is then available to the farmers at a competitive price. Typically, it costs up to $200 million to bring a new chemical to the market. Syngenta spends over $2 million a day on research and last year spent $1 billion on research and development. It takes between 7 and 10 years to bring a new chemical to the market. Syngenta is always looking for new market opportunities. We're looking to develop new crop protection products to replace existing ones or to overcome new problems in agriculture. The application of chemistry in industry here at Syngenta means that we can develop new crop protection products which in the future means we can grow more from less.